your heron, white heron you saw up front, tells you it's very interesting, they are endangered and to keep an eye on it or see if it shows up again. You dealt with your robbery, they came in, experts somehow robbed uh, the top level of your house or entered to the top level, which is probably why you know people don't usually shoot their cameras up towards the air, so you know. <laughs> Usually have them out to watch anyone walking up or running up or to your house. My camera shouldn't be going straight up. Yeah, but if you wanted to like, that's what I'm saying. If you wanted to film in another direction, the directions you have didn't seem to cover. Somebody but also nothing seemed within like so many yards of the house. Somebody moved my cameras. No, I'm saying you don't have any pointing at the sky, so you don't have if anyone came from the sky. Oh, yeah. It's an unusual way to point your camera, but yeah. if you wanted to now... <laughs> I'm going to pop up some more cameras. Okay, so you're going to go in town and grab some more cameras. Oh, you're tracking, you want to track that. I'm tracking. He's checking about tracking to see where they went. First of all, to shore. Okay, and you are... Well, she's in the boat, so... You get to shore, um, start tracking it. Your what's your truck? Uh, yeah, I might as well go with the truck. It's still got a lot of ammo and rifles into it. Okay. Now, like I said, they they took the expensive ones. So you have some basic weapons still there, and you can buy more later off if you want. There'll be time for them to get here, but track for a while. Rope change dice. Ninety three. Wow. Pawn shop. It's not where they are. <laughs> uh, searching around, right around, you start heading to a better part of town. Like where people like your parents live, but they don't live here. They live on the other side of the water. Like, you know that bay? They live more in the main town, mostly. Okay. You're off in the other side of the bay where some lower income, some industrial, some ports, some military, things like that are. And some middle class housing. Which just got partially trashed by a giant crab. He's dead. Yes. Newspapers say crab for the homeless. <coughs> it was a great day for the homeless. But it doesn't cover the insurance, you know, that's going to have to pay for the damages. They're 
Well, the problem was, apparently to the newspaper you guys would have found out, it was that giant crab that the circus said they had, but a bunch of... Well, according to circus report from the people that were there, some of the performers, and they're talking to the stilt man, or tall man, the guy that's usually in stilts, although he's not in stilts right now. They're like, well, what happened with this? Like, well, it was Crab Man's pet, but he's still out there. I think he went out to swamps to look for more. Oh, boy. But he's crushed about it. Um, it seemed to be fine, but then these guys showed up. You know, ninjas or something. Well, no, they had guns, and they were all wearing black. Came running in and seemed to want to trap it, and once it seemed to get agitated, it started growing. That was an unexpected change, and uh, it trashed through everything. But I don't know where, you know, he just found it out there in the swamps. So, you know, I don't see a reason that we should be held responsible for this. As some people are talking, it's not like, you know, any of us bought it or anything. It was a stray. I think you should blame the Animal Control Agency for not getting it beforehand. So, like, well, thank you. And they go off, talking to other people that saw things, stuff like that. Yeah, it seemed to grow pretty big, pretty quick. And then went trashing through town. It kept growing as it went. Uh, its armor seemed to be resilient to all but armor-piercing weapons. They were only direct hits. Most of the ammo just kind of bounced off. Um, army was the, the helicopter was firing missiles that were pierced, piercing, but. So you weren't the only one that had armor piercing. No, but the military I got, does. But I got, I had some good, good so there, shots into it. Theories is they're talking to people or like military or, um, like I said, ninjas. Uh, but they didn't have any markings. But apparently now we know why they wanted it. Someone's like, well, you know. It's it's a, it's a tragedy, but you know the big thing is church or the circus keeps saying I'm not responsible. Oh, you gonna go get your car this morning? Put plastic sheets over. No, your fr your place was no the car came through your front door or front area. Oh, well, why the bird did just fly in there? Afraid another car was coming in. I don't know, maybe two way traffic. I'll wait out here. First, I'm gonna check my surveillance cameras. Okay. Rope change size. 98. Dang. Um, how far back do you go? Just like within that day or? Mm -hmm. Uh, the bird's there. It was definitely there. Because you're filming, you know, the front door would be the most obvious place you'd be filming. And it, it landed, walked right up, smacked your door about three times. Backed up, look back until you open the door. It looks like you find a rather well off mansion. Mansion, huh? Yeah. There's a lot of them on this area. You got in because, well, except for they stopped you at the front gate because you weren't driving a proper vehicle. <laughs> then you showed ID and they were like, oh, okay, sorry. Ask you if you're of the steel family. Uh, of course, it's a stupid question. You are steel family. Maybe not the same one. But they met the rich family. Any connection between you and Barbara Steele? She's an actress and a writer. Mm -hmm. I have a couple movies with her. Old horror films. Yeah, yeah. She ended up doing re romance. But if you look at the horror films she was in, there was always a romance angle to them. Uh, I think that's all she saw. She wasn't there for the monster parts. <laughs> okay, greedy. Roll percentage size. Double nickels. Ooh. Still good enough. Oh! Takes you a bit, but as you get close to the house, you know, because you're in the home, housing district now, they got past the door. You get close to the house, you recognize it. Well, the way you saw that. It's the congressman's house. My brother lives, or my friend lives there. Not now. 
he visits a lot, hangs out there. Actually, he spends about half his time at the, uh, you know, clubhouse, but he's got his own place actually too. This is where he takes, probably where he would take Linda, but not Sylvia. <laughs> no, it's dad's house. He'd have to take Sylvia there and leave Linda at the other one. Yeah. <laughs> if they can get her out of jail again. <laughs> No, he's got to pay for it. So he gets to the door, or to the, uh, of course, there's a, a fence, you know, a wall, I should say, and a guard up front. But, of course, seeing you and you know, the connection to the family. Oh, oh, yeah. The congressman said you might be showing up. So just go up to the main house, not the pool house, and uh, I'll let him know you're coming. He said he uh, found something of yours. Hmm, interesting. Yeah. I don't know anything more than that. So you go? Yes. Okay. Curiosity. Yes. Congressman Maxwell. Meet you at the door. Come in. I believe these are yours. He takes you over to his office and he's got two of your guns. Once they were the most expensive to have the trackers on them. Sitting there in his front room or on his uh, desk. All of them have trackers. Mm -hmm. Those are only two you found at this time. Oh, yeah. Where'd you find them at? They're brought to me from a gun show. They're one of a kind weapons. These two pistols here, you know. They were getting them before they, uh, at the docks before it was, uh, heading out. So, you know, they come in, buy a bunch of guns, leave the country with them. So, they were at that gun show. You got two out of six disappeared. Chances are the others went out towards the water. You know, basically offshore. Out of sea. Yeah. I don't know where they're going or what. Uh, they said there was a lot of high power weapons, but, you know, I don't know if they were all yours. These are just too uh, unique and identifiable that, you know, I knew they, I knew who these were when I was informed. They called me. I have a standard, uh, anytime an auction goes on and something really rare and incredible shows up, I go ahead and have them call me. I knew they had to be yours. You're so, right. I didn't know about the other ones. Um, but here's these two. And I'm still having people uh, find out. If they can find out where, uh, who Got brought it. them to them. Uh, for the most part, it was, uh, they said, it's two real shady looking guys wearing real raggedy clothes. You know, kind of loose fitting. Hmm. I, it could have been disguises. You know what I mean? But good possibility. How'd they get them? I thought maybe you sold them. I was worried if you were like in financial trouble. No, they were stolen. Okay. Well, I wish I had checked more, or maybe froze his gun sale, because I could have called someone and had it at least delayed, or at least stopped the ship. But if I raise too much noise too often, I kind of lose out on these uh, last chance markets. Don't worry, I'll find out where they went. Well, that's good. And, uh, well, here you go. He hands them over. Thank you. Yeah, don't worry about the, you know, the amount for them. It's no big deal between us. We'll make things even. You just try to keep Troy out of trouble. That's going to be hard to do. Yeah, I know. Ever since he got up and was able to walk again. Bless for him and he I probably go soft on him because of it. You know, I thought I lost him just like his brother. But we won't go into that. Yeah. I'll try and do Damn a little it. bit of hunting for my missing guns, but I'll get a hold of Troy and <laughs> see if I can slow him down a little bit. I'm gonna try to keep my hunting to animals, not guns. Okay, well, if you need any help or anything, you know, let me know. 
I can get some wheels moving if you need. Um, were any of them like, did you have any military grade weapons? Two of them. Ah. Well, uh, are we talking things we don't need to show up? Things that don't need to be out in the streets. Definitely don't need to be in the streets. No, my concern was more of would the police show up asking why you had these? You didn't have anything like, you know, fully automatic weapons. Nothing you know? illegal. Okay, that's all. Then that's good. You always seem like one of the good ones. I try to be the good guy. <coughs> well, I will keep an eye out. You let me know if anything comes up. But, you know, I wish I could have done more. Uh, only because I had the contacts that at least gave us this much recovery. I'll see what I can do next. Thank okay. you. Yeah. Favor for favor. Every time. So, where do you want to head from this point? Said so they were going out in seas. Open up. Start tracking down the others. Okay. To the sea. Uh, to the boat area. Okay. Well, if they get too far out of range, though. My trackers won't go that far. Yeah. That's the problem is they're not showing up. Then they're but also they could be... What? How many people have gun safes? A lot of those gun cases are made of lead. Yeah. Have lead in them. So they're put away, so they may show up later, too. Yeah. So you may want to keep an eye out for it. You know, they may come on, so when someone opens up the safe to show it out. I'll you be know. able to find it. Or at least get closer. Yeah. If they like, hey, look at this. I'm putting it back now. You know, yeah. it would at least ping a little bit. Maybe you'd be able to. But now that you know, you can like put active. You could possibly even get some additional equipment that would just record. So if something did pop up, you didn't. You weren't out of the room at the time and missed it. You don't know where it's going. Yeah. I just hooked into your computer and when it talked. Maybe even beep ship sends you an app. Notice. Guns have been found. Number 118. Hunters and Trappers. The hunter and the trapper have become symbols in our history. These people, in the vanguard of civilization, pushed the frontier across the Alleghenies, then to the Mississippi, to the Missouri, to the Rockies, and to the great Northwest, all the way to the Pacific, carrying what little they owned in the world on their backs. They departed from their homes, leaving their more settled countrymen to struggle with the problem of turning 13 loosely bound colonies into a united nation. Start. Welcome. Okay, here we go. This is uh, testing out for uh, Fantasy Tycoon. Fantasy Adventure Tycoon is my game. And, uh, well, what we're going to do is uh, test it out here. What my idea was I have a... I had a dream, you see. I like RPG games. And I kind of like the Roblox. Tycoon, so I mixed it together to create a little world here, and uh, we're gonna run around here and see how it goes. I would appreciate if you could please go over and click on the subscribe and uh, hit the notification so you can know next time we have something new coming on. And uh, sorry for the uh, interruption, but back to the show. Trade center, we're building trade house. First thing, right there, our clue. Got to do some. 
hunting people. Mmm. So let's go over here and check this guy out. He's the next guy closest to us. After darkness, destroy the village. Bet you're wondering what to do. Sure, what do I do here? We start our trade and see about getting the hunters to get us some food. Seems to be a reasonable request. You know where the hunters are? No, he doesn't know that one. Oh wait, I work at the hunter camp across the river. Well, I know there's a river over this way. Matter of fact, if you go over here, look, signpost, down that way. Well, it used to be, it's gone. That's what we gotta rebuild. That's a gold coin sense for town. I got a mill over there, that'll come later. And over this way is the river. Hey, how about you? Well, you I know. Oh, uh, what do I do here? Hunter supply meat for the people. Export it. Or you can kill stuff, do quest, explore. Hmm, you got anything else? What are you still doing here? Oh, I job for the farmers and the hunters on the other side of the river. Oh, okay, so both those guys are over there. Thanks. Doop, 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 doop. Ah, the thing's still in my head. Okay. That's scary. Okay, how about you? What do you want to know? Man, he's got an attitude. What do I do here? Either we turn the forest for the hunters. It's kind of sparse. You know, not much over here, is it? So does it just start to take out the trees too? Uh, that's not important. That's after I'm done with the hunters. He, he, he got his idea of what to do next. So let's go on over here. I'll buy the hunters a forest. Ah, so it's like we're replanting. We're you know rebuilding what was lost by this darkness that erased everything. A little more forest. That's a little better. Hey, look, over here, blue spot. I like the blue spots for building things. I use the red things that has to do directly with finance. I've seen other games do it and I like that. Bam. Hunter's cabin, they can come home. It's kind of empty, they just have a fireplace. But that's what this one's for. For $100, I buy you. Table set, a bed. Can we sit in the chairs? Oh, yes, I'm cool. Okay. Let's see here. Let's see if I can get, nope. It's cold out there. Okay, back to what I was doing. Ah, don't get stuck in the chairs. Doom, 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 doom. We're gonna buy a meat house. I think it's usually called a butcher. Okay. I see, lots of meat. Oh my God, Travis, what have you guys been doing? Uh-huh, okay. Well, okay, how about a trade wagon to set up? Ah, now, this here, see this little red one? We're gonna come up and hit that. What we're gonna do here is also hit this archer campfire. He's a hunter that kind of lives over here. Give him his place. Now we go over to this one. Now, over there is the farm area. We're gonna come back and deal with that. But over here we have the upgrade hunter trade. Now, what we do with that is we hit that. Now I just wanna show you what's going on with that one. And there was red because that actually affects our uh, timeline here and what we're doing. So we go back to the trade house. Doop de doop de doop de doo doop de doop de doo Hi, right, yeah, I already talked to you. He looks like a freaking scarecrow, doesn't he? He's kind of scary. Shave your mustache. You're scary looking. Yay. Going over here now. Right here is a new upgrader. Now what this does is it increases the count that these are worth, of course. A lot of you already know those. That appeared directly because of what we finished the hunters. We have these uh, red spots you see in here and there. When you finish certain sections, you can hit it and it will pop more of these on. We'll have a lot of these by the time we're done, but not today. Hello, 
And if you've enjoyed some of our work that you've seen here, please do me a favor and click there over on Patreon corner, and you can see you can become a patron. And for like a dollar a month, you can uh, give me input on anything that you think would be good to continue on. So we do so much different things, and it's hard to see what people want to see next. So become a contributor, and as well as have an opinion on what we do next. Thank you. The Gothic Ghost. Damn weird. Now this is based upon the research I was able to do on the whole subject of ghosts, that kind of its own little pocket, which is, falls under the European Renaissance to Romantic period of 1500 around to 1840. Renaissance magic took a revised interest in the occult, including necromancy, in the era of the Reformation and Counter-Reformation. There was frequently a backlash against unwholesome interest in the dark arts, typified by writers such as Thomas Erastus and the Swiss reformist pastor Ludwig or Levator, supplied one of the most frequently reprinted books of the period with his Of Ghosts and Spirits Walking by Night. The child ballad, Sweet William's Ghost, 1868 recounts a story of a ghost returning to his fiancée, begging her to free him from his promise to marry her. He cannot marry her because he is dead, but her refusal would mean his damnation. This reflects a popular British belief that the dead haunted their lovers if they took up new love, without some formal release. The unquiet grave expressed a belief even more widespread found in various locations all over Europe. Ghosts can stem from the excessive grief of the living, whose mourning interferes with the dead's peaceful rest. In many folklores from around the world, the hero arranges for the burial of a dead man. Soon after, he gains a companion who aids him, and in the end, the hero's companion reveals that he is in fact the dead man. Instance of this includes an Italian fairy tale, Fairbrow, and the Swedish The Bird Grip. One of the more recognizable ghosts in English literature is The Shade of Hamlet's murdered father in Shakespeare's The Tragedy and History of Hamlet. Prince of Denmark and Hamlet, it is the ghost who demands the Prince Hamlet investigate his murder most foul and seek revenge upon the usurping uncle, King Claudius. In English Renaissance theater, ghosts were often depicted in a garb of the living, and even in armor. As with the ghost of Hamlet's father, armor, being out of date, by the time of the Renaissance, gave the stage ghost a sense of antiquity. But this leads to one of the most interesting things I find in these researches, which actually answers something I've been wondering for a long time. We're about to see the birth of the sheet ghost. But the sheeted ghost began to gain ground on stage in the 19th century because an armored ghost could not satisfactorily convey the required spookiness. It clanked and creaked and had to be moved about by complicated fully systems or elevators. These clanking ghosts being hosted about the stage became objects of ridicule as they became cliche stage elements. Ann Jones and Peter Strahlgoss in Renaissance clothing and the materials of memory point out, in fact, it is as laughter increased threatened the ghost that he started to be staged not in armor, but in some form of spirit drapery. The Ghost of Christmas Present from Charles Dickens' novella, The Christmas Carol, and The Ghost of a Pirate from Howard Pine's Book of the Pirates. The classic ghost story arose during the Victorian period and included authors such as M.R. James, Sheridan Le Fayre, Violet Hunt, and Henry James. Classic ghost stories were influenced by the Gothic fiction traditions and contained elements of folklore and psychology. M.R. James summed up the essence 
of the elements of the ghost story as malevolence and terror, the glare of evil faces, the stony grip of unearthly malice, pursuing forms in darkness and long drawn distant screams are all in place. And so is a modicum of blood shed with deliberation and careful husband. One of the key early appearances of Ghost was the castle or of Otranto by Horace Walpole in 1764, considered to be the first Gothic novel. Famous literary apparitions from the period are the ghost of a Christmas carol in which Ebenezer Scrooge is helped to see the error of his ways by the ghost of his former colleague, Jacob Marley. And the ghost of the Christmas past Christmas or Macbeth seeing the ghost of Banco by Theodore Chassero. All of this belief in ghosts in European folklore is characterized by a recurring fear of returning or reverent decreased who may harm the living. This includes the Scandinavian Jenganger or the Strigoi of Romania, same as the Serbian vampire, the Greek Barcocolus, etc. In, in Scandinavian Finnish tradition, ghosts appeared in corporal form, and their supernatural nature is given away by behavior rather than appearance. In fact, in many stories, they are first mistaken for the living. They may be mute, appear, and disappear suddenly, or leave no, no footprints or other traces. English folklore is particularly notable for its numerous haunted locations. And in a large way, that's what these seem. Not so much ghosts, but hauntings. And if you think in like the mental sense, when you see ghosts, are you seeing them or is your brain projecting them for you? Maybe something needs to be dealt with. Maybe some message you didn't like listen to when they're living you subconsciously start it and your brain's trying to replay it so you can hear it that's a haunting in a way you may not see things but it is something from the past replaying itself belief in the soul and the afterlife remains near universal until the emergence of atheism in 18th century in the 19th century, spiritualism re resurrected belief in ghosts as the object of systemic inquiry and popular opinions in Western culture. And popular opinion in Western culture remains divided. insurance for that shit. Okay. Uh, so they send over someone to start estimates, but, you know, it's going to be a few days, especially in light of all this. It'll be a while before I get anyone out of here. So you might want to throw a tarp over that hole. Uh, we've already called a tow truck to yank the car out for you, though. It's probably going to take out a little more wall on the process. But we'll get someone out here to yank that out of the way, at least. So... Um, f file your report, you know, give me information, let me know, like, any personal stuff that was lost. Uh, other than that, I said it's going to be a bit of a delay. I've got a lot of, we've got a lot of claims going on right now. Um, governor was talking about, or the congressman was talking about getting, uh, funds for a, uh, or he's going to talk to the governor about getting funds for, uh, relief. Food help out here a little bit, but, you know, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully well, it won't raise your rates much. Until then, I'm gonna find. I'm gonna ask my boss if there's any employee housing that I could stay in. Sounds good. 
uh, let us know, and uh, or if you need to stay in any hotels for a while because you don't feel safe, keep your receipts, and we'll be able to uh, reimburse you within reason. Don't go stay at uh, the Ritz or anything. Motel 6 down the street will work fine. Comfort in. <laughs> Good enough. That's all right. Okay. Because they're low animals. Do you have animals listed on your insurance? I'm house. I'm cat I'm insurance. sitting. You're cat sitting. Okay. Oh, I was more of an out of gaming question, so you know. And yes. Okay. There's no no thing from him. He'd say he'd be looking for any excuse not to pay. But a car hit my house. You lied about the cat. <laughs> I do have animal insurance. Oh, protect you know from damage from the animal yeah. in the house. Okay. Man, I just dropped it down to like something very little bit. Well, we have one click, so we still can keep going for a while. Uh, so what do you do the next day? Go to work. Okay. Check the bushes. Any okay. lindas? Any wild lindas about? So, oh, during that your headache went away, finally. So it's slowly, it was only really bad. Yeah, they called today. It was only really bad when the cat was attacked, was on your back. It started getting better after the cat got off. And then slowly went away from there. Hurt. Right there. That's a uh, chakra point. It's also got a stone there. I can't feel it. So her skull is bullet resistant? No. She just has a, a stone which you can feel. Every one of them you can locate and feel. No, I mean, if she was, she had surgery on her, did she have any surgery on her skull? Yeah, they put a stone into it. So they put nine? Yeah, seven and one in each hand. It's actually right there in the palm. If you look close, rub, you can see them. Or feel them. You can't really see them. They're in your skin. Right here, you ever see people, it looks like they have a like, slight bump there. You know what I mean? So you, it looks like you have a little round bump yeah. right there. Yeah, Bill. Hmm. What? <laughs> he has a bump on his forehead. Do I? There. So that's what you was. You have one too. That's what was twitching. Or hurting for a little bit around that area. And your sore throat's back again. I go talk to Dr. White. Yeah. Is sore throat? Well, you slept in a house with a hole in the front, I heard. But you're not feeling any other, you know, like illnesses like a cold or anything? Has it gotten worse or anything? No. Nope. It can't be a cold, really, then. It would have proceeded one way or the other. We'll set up another EKG full spectrum scan. See if anything's changed, especially since you've been struck in the head. And uh, we're through uh, your house being hit by a car. So we probably should check to see how you And doing. I had a really odd thing happen with a bird. White heron. I don't even think I've seen one of those. No, that's a secret. Shut up! That's a secret. Yeah, I had a uh, white heron knock on my door three times with his beak. Left marks on the door. Stepped back, waited for me to open the door, looked at me, cocked its head to the right, to the left, and nodded to flew off.
Do the labs have any iris or any white herons? Not that I know of. Huh. Did you hang around with the animals much back there? I mean, I heard they had a few escape, and uh, I don't know, maybe it's one you met before and it found you. No, they, from what oh. Karen said, there was no birds huh. that got Whisper out. an owl. One avian, an owl. Big-eyed owl. I mean, the owl got out. But I didn't hear of any herons. The owl got out? Yeah. Damn, I liked him. He escaped along with a couple other ones. Well, I knew a few escaped. Wish I knew what was in that empty locked cage, though. That was open with the rest of the animals. Nothing, I'm sure I have the answer, but what was that again? There was a cage. At the labs? Yes, I had nothing in it. It was locked up for quite a while. And all of a sudden it was open. Maybe they're planning to put something in it. was locked until then. Larger cage? Yeah. It may have been locked. The same one people crawling around in it, maybe locking themselves in there. I don't know. Kind of weird. Those are Karen's things, so I, you, you know, she knows more about it than I do. And she doesn't always inform of everything. Um, I didn't even talk to Sylvia in weeks, so I don't even know on that either. Oh, they were in the same room for a while yesterday, but they still haven't talked. Next time She's you see Sylvia, to... try to talk to her. I have. We used to date for a while. Did she ever beat you up like she did Linda? No. <laughs> Not as bad. She's actually, well, she's got a little bit of a pagan side to her. Oh, by the way, this is between me and you. I spoke with Sylvia for a little bit. Okay. Her and her boy toy are, are in an open relationship. Okay. About to run out of time. But I need to go up and talk to Karen. Okay. I'll, uh, keep in mind about that, but... Yeah, they are, but that's because, honestly, um, she was that way when that short... I... Short time I, I was with her, she just... She doesn't bond to people. I like her sister who's, you know, understands animals and she's just, it's almost like talking to someone from another planet half the time. She's like, what's he, like, what the hell are you talking about? about? The... Yeah, like some royalty. Yeah, I got that a couple times. <laughs> oh, no, but I watched her do it to Chase. <laughs> I'm done. Go what? It. We're good. Okay, so you go up to talk to Karen. Yep. She's in her office. Going through some different reports, looking at a, on the computer at different photos in the, or different cameras in the labs. Come in, oh, just doing another count, see if anything's missing again after that. After the crab incident? Yeah, I guess we should be happy he didn't try to come home. Speaking of homes, um, until my insurance could <coughs> get my house covered. <coughs> Repair the car shaped hole? Yeah. I'd heard. Is there any, like, employee housing or anything like that? Yeah. Yeah, I think I can get something. You know, by the end of the day, I should have something lined up for you. Alrighty. Got to keep an eye on you. Can't have you getting out sick, you know. 
Oh, um, here's a question. Something yeah. strange other than giant blah 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 crab. But compared to that, not a lot else strange, but okay. Well, it's strange to me. Okay. Because I know that these animals are extremely rare and endangered. Okay. White heron. Oh, thinking about the crab. I was like, no, that's more than endangered and more than rare. It's unique and dead. Um, the <laughs> okay, white heron. Yeah. Yeah, they're endangered. Beautiful bird. I had one knock on my door. Very loyal. I had one knock on my door after the crab was taken down. Okay. Um. It waited for me to open the door. Did it come in? No. Oh. It looked at me, moved its head a couple times, nodded, and flew off. That is weird. That is bizarre. Did you get pictures? I have video from the security cameras at my house. Cool. I don't know. We don't have any, but I still find it interesting to see it. Well, actually, it's on my phone. I can show you right now. Okay, you sure? Oh, that's a nice looking one. I spoke with a zoologist that day. Yeah. Sent him the video. Okay. And I'm waiting to hear back from him. But... I know we don't have any herons here. No, not in the labs. There might be some in the swamps out back. I mean, that's there. They are protected species back there. That's why I, we, we couldn't even. We can't even begin to imagine experimenting on them. But I mean, it just took me by surprise when that happened. It should. It didn't scare you or anything, did it? No. Oh, well, that's nice. It just kind of took me by surprise, because... Maybe it was just concerned if you were all right. I don't know, but it left marks on my door from its beak. <sighs> Maybe you didn't hear it the first time. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Heard... I'll come up by this some more this evening. I would appreciate if you could please go over and click on the subscribe and uh, hit the notification so you can know next time we have something new coming on and uh Sorry for the uh, interruption, but back to the show.